this uh, EEG, it's uh, synthetic EEG, and we'll be using fast logic to try and uh, find, detect this uh, EMG embedded in it. I don't know why it does this funny thing of scaling the waveform up and down. I would expect it just to be the same amplitude throughout. Let's actually start with that quickly. Show put it in our window we have essentially four windows we have a code the code is split into two windows it's a visual studio code but it has the github uh, copilot chat open because that's what we use and it uh, obviously has the code uh, we made it doing a uh, html javascript uh, python and css for our styling the membership functions right so we actually have the html which shows the front panel has some description at the bottom but we'll have to correct that after making the more recent changes yeah i don't know what's up with this so we have this uh, color color scheme that we're using for the project it's these colors here they're from was from some uh, a festival in South uh, South America. So let's jump into it. So looking at the code above, I uh, would like some suggestions. Uh, maybe do not generate the code yourself, um, but uh, generate prompts that I can use with GitHub Copilot. But it because it will have the more updated uh, version. Of the script now the looking the code above that I shared can you check a few things first of all when I scroll through the data it's uh, scaling the signal is uh, zooming out and when I stop scrolling it uh, adjusting the amplitude this is pretty annoying uh, how can we fix that See, just warming up with something simple. It's not gonna time me out, is it? Here are some prompts you could use with GitHub Copilot to get suggestions for modifying your JavaScript code. Right, so we have a bunch of them. I don't know why. We don't want additional functions, no. I'm encountering an issue with amplitude adjustment in my EEG chart. Currently, when I stop scrolling through the EEG data, the chart adjusts the amplitude automatically, which is not desirable. I need the amplitude to remain constant and not readjust after scrolling. Could you help me adjust my JavaScript chart update function to maintain a fixed amplitude range regardless of the scroll position? Okay, that one sounds like shit. Let's try it out. The amplitude adjustment is happening because of these lines. Max that point is constant. That scales. So where's Max? Uh, data point is being calculated and multiple we can fetch the entire EMG data so where would that be here layering another why but okay well this the same is it the same don't need this scale does it fetch that uh, constant fetch data if array yeah we just need to so we don't need this anymore do we i can just yeah, doing it on a different variable it's updating this play in g and still does it control f5 yeah it's only happening during scrolling I will leave it for now. The other main thing is I want to display those uh, membership functions. Membership functions. Actually, we would like to do as much as possible within the JavaScript. So I don't even know why we need so much of um, a Python code. Okay, moving on. The membership functions are uh, currently not uh, being displayed properly it's just displaying one value and the current amplitude current frequency and current artifact risk 
are set to be not available. We need to fix that. Now question, another question is, can we do most of the processing within JavaScript and use backend as little as possible? What's this fuzzy control for the fuzzy control? What? That doesn't sound like it's going to work. How about this one or that one? I think I actually have to use the second one. From memory, I did something similar before. Yeah, let's just save that file. Still haven't fixed uh, GitHub. A uh, copilot. A uh, GitHub. No, the GitHub, the Git. I was still fetching from um, the back end, which is, uh, which is not ideal. It's far always be the same. Just check something. Yeah, requires one. Fine. Not use a board statement. That's dead. That's not defined. Right, so we have a uh, fast control just making this up or actually exist link what is there fuzzy control js i think this is referring so the fuzzy control here referring to my python i'm really confused get rid of it for now yeah there's the much stuff happening on the back end i think minimize back end i want to shift most of the data processing to the client side once I do have to select the whole JavaScript or it's just selecting automatically 1 to 17. It's selecting code around this uh, segment. Normalize data, keeps normalizing data. Yeah, I didn't get that bit. So we're moving the membership functions to JavaScript, which is good. I just made this up. Uh, it's suggesting it again though. Wait, this is uh, this pipe code. What on earth? No, I'm super confused right now. So we're asking to shift most of the data processing to the client side to reduce backend load to implement the shift normalization. You can normalize data, Java, basic JavaScript operations. Okay, so we have normalized data already doing something similar display analyzing display yeah this is only mainly displaying stuff so now we're doing some processing as well yeah, there's a lot of debugging and fetching data and normalizing data calculating average amplitude okay yeah so these things don't actually work yeah, this stuff it's need to go into the html is it yeah let's import it quickly but uh, it won't work so we're using this function in the process so please note that the approach will increase the load on the client client's device that's okay the other thing is it doesn't actually work turn it into a module yeah, I don't have those. I need the module bundler. Okay, that would not work at the moment. As it is turning main.js into a module. It is in a static folder. Yeah, nah. This will not work. So every function that requires an import has to be commented that out right so we are working working again we like to keep things intact instead of breaking them yes we need to update the current values yeah we don't need a new javascript function don't need to refer to github copilot as github copilot we need to update the current amplitude current frequency and the car Ran alpha tech a uh, risk text on my web page every time you should tell is fetched the values are currently showing let's try that quickly so you have a html elements with ids i need to check those ids 
right this correct i don't have those need yes we do need this function call this function current after current values can we place it here for a sec comment that out quickly okay now the values are updating okay can remove that that's working pretty well so far so good we have another prompt chat for playing memory memory functions only showing one value instead of the full range sounds legit I expect this might be with the parsing of the data received from the server that looks like a perfect prompt I couldn't have written anything better myself this issue might be with how we are mapping the data onto the chart the plot membership function you're mapping data to labels it seems like you're treating data as an array yeah no it is an array okay can we check plot membership functions it's not the actual function here's the function const labels yeah we would like to console log the data we already have the data but let's do it again membership data what crazy it's all this nested stuff why yeah we're just doing the plot membership function i want to show what i meant to be selecting when prompting a uh, copa let's not structure the data we have an object with three properties amplitude artifact risk and frequency each of which is an array of objects each of this object has a name property and points property where points is an array of arrays <laughs> don't like array of arrays but okay to map this data tables i'm sure you would need to iterate over the array objects and then over the points so in plot data canvas cdx that destroy it's coming that out for a sec doesn't work anyway destroy is the same then just take the whole and this is const plot data add to do eight no actually the problem is elsewhere now let's do that prompt for the whole code because it seems like when we change this function we have to change something else as well their message suggests that the data set points is undefined okay replacing let's comment that out quickly place that looks to be the same anyway can get rid of it console okay i might have to continue this next time see you later bye